What's up, YouTube? It's Torhan coming at you with the next episode of our Torhan's How to Play Minecraft. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go exploring. And hopefully not get ourselves killed by evil creatures. What we're going to do today is we're going to look for food. And we're going to learn how to cook food and survive. So right now, there's our little hidey hole. Which... Actually, what we're going to do is move our hidey hole and then cook our food and stuff. Because that's... We're going to actually build ourselves a little place to go. Because this being all nice and stuff is great, but... It's not practical. This one is impractical, at least. Alright. Oh, better grab these. All right, so now, first things first, as we look for a place to live, we're going to find ourselves some food. Now, food can come from farming or it can come from killing of animals, such as chickens. Hey, look, it's the elusive creeper. Those guys are bad. Evil, evil, bad, bad, bad. We're going to avoid them for now because this is not a combat video. This is a video for how to forge. Okay, we're going to kill some chickens. And I would kill the, 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 the sheepies, but no. For all these that are squeamish, I'm sorry, I need to eat. And piggies just taste really, really yummy. Bacon. And chicken. Everybody likes chicken. Basically, let me explain the hunger system to you here. As you move, run, and do stuff in Minecraft, you utilize your hunger bar. And those are the little drumsticks that you can see I'm missing even more of now. If you run down to no hunger, you start losing life. Losing life is bad. You don't want that to happen. So you have to eat. And you can eat raw food, which is fine. But raw food doesn't keep you full as long as cooked food will. And sheeps do not give you food. They give you wool. Wool can be used for making a bed. It can be used for making paintings. It can be used for a very a various number of things. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Come, oh look, some reeds. Reeds, reeds, reeds. Reeds are used for making books. Reeds can make paper or they can be made into sugar. And flowers can be used to dye. You can use flowers. You can basically create pigment from flowers and use flowers to dye wool to different colors. And I'm thinking we're going to make our first house like right here. Or at least our, our next home that we're going to stay in for a while. Close enough to the extreme hills biome. Actually, no, why don't we just make it here? Ah, oh, it's deceiving. I thought it was flatter there. Deceitful things! Oops, add a shovel. Alright, well that's fine. Well, maybe I can find a flatter area. I just want a nice flat area to build our little home on before I starve to death. Alright, we're going to start here. Oh, I'm already messing up. 
Really? Fail block place. This is just going to be something that's really simple for now. Uh, we'll use the dirt to fill in. Sheep, go on. I don't want you. You don't give me lamb chops. Sheep, I will kill you. Stay away. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that would be a double door. One, two, three, four, five. Except for on this side, it will be a single door. So we'll use this side. All right, so we're quickly making us a house. That we can survive in. Basically, I want to create something that we can use to avoid creepers. Since creepers are the enemy during the day. We'll put that there to block the door. And then we'll have to go pick up some sand to make glass. Eventually. But for now, we'll do like that. And we're going to use wood for the roof. But before we do all that, as you can tell, my hunger bar is down. And before I start to starve to death, we're going to cook some chicken. We got some pork. And if we had cows, we can get ourselves some beef. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to create a little mini farm. Uh, probably do it down by the water there. If you use water next to your farms, it actually lasts longer. Or it doesn't last longer, but it, it basically makes the soil fertile and things grow better. And we're just going to turn all this into wood. And we're going to... Uh, what do we want to do? Yeah, we'll make it a... It's going to be a little claustrophobic at first until I have time to make a better roof. Um, actually, what we need to do here is throw down our crafting table and make ourselves a door to keep monsters at bay. Though actually, zombies can knock down doors. So I've learned a trick that I will show you guys. Trap doors, which are pretty handy. So here you have two options. Actually, one thing I need to do here is light up the outside of this place real quick. Before it gets nighttime and we're regretting the fact that we didn't light it up. Because monsters will spawn and they will try to kill us. Alright. More torches. That should last us a little while at least. Alright. And then inside of course I'll throw a couple torches down. So you can either use a door. Let's actually dig this out real fast and put a stone there. 
So you can use a door like so. The only problem with a door like this is that zombies on hard mode will destroy the door. They'll come over and break it down. So what I like to do is a trick I learned is you can use trap doors. They can't come through this. It stops them. But zombies also won't knock it down. It's a clever little door. It doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing as a real door. But in terms of right now, I'm going to use it until we can get some extra iron and we can make an iron door. All right, so we have the cooked chicken. Let's go ahead and cook ourselves our pork chops. And until that, we're going to go ahead and eat the chicken. All right, now our hunger bar is full again. But you can see it's getting to be evening time. So what we're going to do here is to protect ourselves. We're going to double up these. We can still be shot by skeletons through these openings if they come. So what we want to do just to protect ourselves tonight is do this. We'll make some glass next time. I'll show you guys how to create glass so that way you can actually create windows. Um, but what I want to do is I want to dig down. But first we need to make a couple extra tools. So we're going to go over here, grab our sticks. And we're going to create ourselves another pick and a shovel. So now we have another shovel. And we have another pick. And I think we're going to do one more pick because the one we have is almost gone. And then I also want to build ourselves another piece of furniture. And this is a chest. A chest are used to store things so your inventory doesn't stay crowded. Like our current inventory is pretty full. Um, what I want to do is build ourselves a chest. We can throw things in there that we don't want to carry around with us constantly in case we die or something bad happens. Uh, we can just leave it all in the chest for now, and then later we can come back for it. All right, and I always keep some stone on me just in case we need it, and some food. And our pork chops are now cooked, so we'll take those. And what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to dig down and see if there's anything we can find over here this time. Oh, too much. All right. I hate it when I do that twice now. The one thing I haven't done anything with yet is showing you guys combat, like when you run into baddies, like creepers or zombies. Um, I'm actually planning to do a separate video with combat and how to deal with that. Because um, it's, you know, there's there's a few things to remember. Uh, like, you can build armor to protect yourself. Uh, there's, you know, there's, a, there's quite a bit you can do to keep yourself safe. Um, the other thing I want to do actually next time is create a farm and show you guys exactly how farming works. Uh, farming can save you quite a bit. Cause say you're in an area and you don't have any cows or chickens or sheep around. Or not sheep, but cows. Oh look, cool. You don't have any cows, chickens, or pigs. Uh, you can always grow wheat. And wheat can be turned into bread. And bread, of course, can be eaten and save your life and not kill you. Oh, see, there we go. I already used one of them. But we get more coal. Coal is very helpful. As I stated above, we use it to cook. We use it for torches. Uh, it is very good to have in abundance. If we get lucky, we may find some iron, which would let us create iron armor, iron tools, even a bucket so we can actually transport water so it's closer instead of having to go far away for it. Or buckets can also be used for lava. And milk if you have cows. 
So there's lots of uses for items in this game. It's just a matter of figuring out what the uses are that you need. And I like to fill things back in that I don't need to have undone because it makes it easier to figure out where I'm going. And it gives me less places to have to put torches for mobs to spawn. Because the last thing we need to do is have some creepers or skeletons or zombies spawning down here with us. That could be bad. But right now we're just kind of looking for some resources why it's evening time and we don't have a bed yet. Uh, if we had a bed, we would basically sleep in our bed, and it would instantly go back to daytime without having to wait through the night like we are doing now. But waiting through the night sometimes is a good thing because it lets you gather resources and do a few other things that you normally don't want to do during the day because you want to do other stuff during the day that's a little more productive. But this is something you guys are going to notice that you do quite often is you'll end up gathering re resources because uh, you need them. We need more resources to keep building our home. We need You always need more coal. You always need more iron. Um, you always want to look for diamonds, uh, redstone, lapis, whatever you're looking for. Hey, look, more coal. Sweetness. So th there's always a reason to be digging um, and to be looking for resources so you can continue to expand and grow. What I want to do is find some iron so I can create a bucket and we can make a farm close to the house so we don't have to travel as far, which would be nice. But if we can't do that, we'll start something by the water. Farming in itself is a whole different ordeal because there's different things to farm. Uh, you have anything from wheat to melons to... Uh, pumpkins. Oh, you hear that sound? That is a cave sound. Which means we're close by a cave. Might be here somewhere. Uh, but farming, there's a lot of things you can farm. You can farm things from the nether, you can farm food, melons, uh, you can find farm sugar cane. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can farm. I wonder if it's beneath us, maybe. Right, let's check further down. Ah, rats. Now, once this last pick is gone, then we're going to go ahead and go back up. Oh, let's go up anyways and see if it's daytime yet. Is it daytime? No, it is still nighttime. But as you can hear, there are zombies that are nearby. Oh, zombies! Where are you? Oh, they're hiding from us. They fear our awesomeness. All right, so um, as we search for either the cave or some more materials, you can only go so far down too, by the way. Oh, there's the cave. Let's see, is it just a water cave? It's just a cave with water. Always fun. Let's double check over this way. Yep, just a cave with water. But sometimes in the water you can find more you can find iron ore that's readily available that's close to pick 
but I don't think I see any right now. Eh, rats. Yeah, I'm just filling this in because basically the water cave is nice. We can actually bring some dirt down here and make us a little farm if we wanted. Without having to go outside at night, we can farm all day long. Which might not be a bad idea to do while we're waiting to find you know it might not be a bad idea to come down here and throw down some wheat or some seeds to grow some wheat and look we have a spider outside now it's daytime yay for daytime alright you guys I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this episode here this is basically just your initial you know, how to get your basic food and how to cook it. And, you know, more explanation of different foods. And to build our first little mini little house thing here. Uh, what we're going to do now, though, is we're going to, next video, we're going to go and get us some sand and cook ourselves some glass to make some windows. We might uh, move it up one level so it's a little taller. And then we're going to make ourselves a bed. So come back to the next episode. We may even do a little bit of combat, depending. Uh, but, you know, we'll just go ahead and play it by ear, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody's enjoying these. And talk to everybody later. Peace.